So I just want to share real quick what happened at the Wooster uh, Theater tonight. Um, we had some people from our deliverance team that were going there to minister, and only one person was able to come with me. But when I got there, there were so many people from our church. There was an old, a guy that I, two men that I know that are such amazing spiritual warriors. And uh, of course, the movie went through. There was I stood up right after the movie, and I said, wait, there's going to be a QR code, and you're going to be able to play a video, and I'll help you pray and do deliverance. And then there was no QR code, and uh, maybe I misunderstood what was supposed to happen. But I stood up and I said, if anybody wants prayer, right? So afterwards, there was no QR code. There was no video. The screen went blank. But uh, immediately, a lady walked up to me, and somebody else walked up to the other lady that I was with, and we started to pray for them. And both of them, even though there had been no renouncing, both of them were visibly shaking and really begin to, to cry and manifest. The one girl had said she had went through, uh, had used to do tarot cards and all kinds of uh, different yogi, uh, yoga and crystals. And we gave her some information for a complete deliverance, but we got to pray with them. Then as I was leaving the theater, the Holy Spirit told me to go back in and talk to the ladies that were still in there. There was only three ladies left in the theater, and the Holy Spirit said, go in and talk to them. And so when I came up to them, I said, do you guys need anything? And the one lady instantly started to cry, and she was like, oh, I, I, I wanted somebody to pray for me. And she started, was really struggling. So we stepped outside the theater uh, in the hallway, and I began to pray for them. And it was beautiful. I mean, her two friends were with her, and I was by myself, but... This lady really felt the love of God. You could feel the presence of God so strong. We were close to a garbage can. And uh, so the lady came out that was cleaning the theater already. It seemed very quickly. They told us to move out of the theater because they had to clean it. And then we were outside and they said, can you please move away? You're too close. And uh, she was very agitated. And I'm certain the spirits in her were really stirred up, right? So we moved away, finished the prayer. A team of us gathered and we prayed and then we went back outside and there was several teams of people praying out there. The one lady was in full-blown deliverance. Oh, it was beautiful. She was renouncing the spirit of Jezebel. She was renouncing witchcraft. We were, uh, you know, declaring freedom over her. And towards the end, probably 15 minutes in, all of a sudden three cop cars pull up. And they came up. They go in first and they came out and they said, we were called by the movie theater and we have to ask you to leave. And we're like, we're outside the theater. We left, we came out of the theater whenever they told us to come out. And they said, well, somebody called and said, there's people doing exorcisms and they're scaring the other people. And some people from our team were very upset, tried to explain that we're just praying for people who weren't in the way of the door, or anything like that. But uh, these cops didn't want to be there. By the way, one of the cops' names was Pagani. How about that? Worcester, Ohio, a cop named Pagani. So anyway, we ended up finishing up there and we moved out into the parking lot. And then we were told somebody had said we couldn't even be in the parking lot. There was a prayer team there. And so then we walked over to the grass between like Target and the movie theater in a big grassy strip. And we took maybe by that time, there's only maybe 10 people there. And we gathered around, started praying. And this one girl said, since we're already here, we might, can you guys pray for me? And, uh, law, oh, praise God, full-blown deliverance, guys. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. I'm telling you, there was so much freedom tonight. I saw manifestations, and there was not even any renouncing. Think about that. The presence of God was so strong. It was in that place. People were convicted. They could see that they had been tormented by spirits, and it's not just me. It's not just my problem. It's not just my addictions. I'm not just... I'm such a bad person that I can't deal with this life. There's demonic, there's demons that have legal access into their life. And we broke off so many strongholds. We're going back tomorrow night, and the movie theater is probably not going to let us minister because the cops were called. We're going to talk to management tomorrow night, and we're going to see how we can arrange it. Maybe go outside in the grassy strip again and do deliverance. Um, I would have liked to do it in front of the theater. I know I saw some of the people that were on the Global Vision community page that said they were, they were doing deliverances uh, right there in the theater. But our theater seems like they have had a not a good experience. And so they're upset. And I'm sure the girl that's really upset the manager has a spirit because you can tell she's very agitated. 
So praise God, so much freedom. I'm so excited. Listen, the movie was almost over, and I'm thinking, I ah, probably nothing's going to happen, right? There's no renouncing. I didn't know if there was going to be, you know, time to do uh, play of the video from the QR code, but then the QR code didn't play, and I stood up and said, if anybody needs prayer, and that's all it took, one small act of obedience to begin to set so many people free. We gave out our contact information to so many people. Listen, God's people are coming together in a public space. You can't stop what's coming, devil. You can't put this back in the box. Deliverance is the children's bread. It is our birthright to be free. Every demon cast out in Jesus' name. I don't care if you are a Christian. If you are hindered and and tormented by a spirit, or you have a hex or a vex on you, you are not going to overcome that just by uh, pushing through or reading the Bible. You need deliverance, and it is your birthright. Guys, looking forward to tomorrow night. Maybe I'll share another testimony then.